Hello everyone, welcome to Love Rebel and welcome to a new video here on Love Rebel. You can join the channel for 10 rand a month if you want to show some more support here on Love Rebel, but it's not, you, you can do it if you want to do it, but hit the subscribe button and also hit the thumbs up button. So yeah, I want to show you guys the Toyota. So we have sorted out the alternator, it was just the one the alternator that gave the issue. Uh, Brent's 35th edition, we need to do his bumper and his lights need to be cleaned. But this, we need to get this car like looking to tip top condition again. So we need to get this car sorted out. The truck is finally driving okay. We're doing Spatronics on Monday. Um, I'll film that for you. Uh, the Honda, this is Lyle's four wheel drive build Honda, I think. And we've got the holes are starting to be filled up on the doors now. Because um, they're obviously all going to go smooth. So they're not going to put the beadings back in again. Uh, the BMW over here. Yeah, it's getting there. We got the front bumper on. We got the spotlights in. The interiors came back together. This car needs to leave ASAP. Um, we, I can't wait to drive that car for the video. So I'm just taking you quickly through the shop here. Got Mike sorting out the bumper there out. We'll chat now about the GTV. So this Porsche came in for the rear deck lid. So the rear deck lid had holes in because of a spoiler that was in the car. I'm going to show you that now here. Yeah. So as you can probably see, Donnie is filling the holes that was in the spoiler and also repairing some of the damage on the air-cooled Porsche. Guys, by the way, this is a Targa um, Porsche. This is absolutely like phenomenal, like really, really Gosh, and this thing is just uber, uber, uber pretty. Oh, air cooled Porsches are so cool. Uh, three to five hours, we're starting the stripping process now. You guys can see that the car was it being stripped. The GTV, yeah, we, we're sitting on this one because we need to find an interior for the car. We need to find windows and things like that. There is a car in the pipeline or something in the pipeline which we are going to try now and um, sort out. So then we can get cracking with the GTV and we need to crank this car as well. Uh, the combi is fully primed. We need to paint the two-tone color. This car is going to go gray and white. And then we have a C63 Legacy Edition in for rims. So I'll show you. The damage is damage here. Over here on the bottom lip. Right? It's damage. On this rim, you can see you're on top. Sorry, that's the, that's the compressor. Then we have damage. This room's not so badly damaged, but this room here, this is badly damaged. So yeah, you can see that's quite bad. So we need to do all this uh, over again and make this room look beautiful again. In the M2 comp, the wheels are off. I'll show you that in the back of the truck. Morning, G. How are you? Eating what? Nick mm. <laughs> So, Gino's actually going to take me in a few hours to go fetch my car. Um, I'm pretty bloody excited. Just waiting on payment to clear and stuff, and then Gino and I can go through. Uh, I'll put the... Yeah, we will. It's good. I'm keeping that pot quiet because I'm very emotional, so... Yeah, the wheels are here in. I'll show you. So you guys can see here there are holes that we're gonna fix and on that room there all the like yeah you can see the the clear is chipping off so that we need to sort out so yeah that's about it so i'm thinking now let's hit the road and see what's what right ladies and gentlemen i'm Gino, outside me, um the place to fetch the, it's gonna be the a full car the screener, um, that's and go gino's busy live streaming in front 101 views. so yeah, yeah let's reveal the score okay guys guys and you're gonna see my car in three two one yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. Yeah, can I do the? Can I do the piece of that? You can get a salt up, yeah. Salam, Azad. Hola. Can I get the? Can I get that one? Yeah, you can actually go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> Salam, Sali. Are you there? Alhamdulillah. No worries. Chaman. You. Yo. Eh? For long now? Yeah. Cup shaking, bro. You, you didn't like the other one that you did a video of, though. I, the I, like, the, I like the car. <laughs> I like the car. <laughs> Holy moly, guys. Okay, let's put this in the car. Let's Oops, do it. Right, okay, we need to get a start up quickly. Okay. <laughs> Shukran. <laughs> Shukran. I can't believe yeah. it. <laughs>my CLK 63 AMG uh, this one has 137,000 kilometers on the clock and if you listened in the background of the previous few clips you probably heard Mr. Bubbles car wash that's right this car belonged to Salih uh, this is actually his wife's car um, I saw this car in the back of a photo I messaged the, the, the person that the photo was in and I was like does that guy want to sell this car because I've been looking for a CLK now for months and i like the way this car looks and they say, message me back and he's like yeah i'll message the owner now and then Sally contacted me contacted me and said dude i'm i prepared to sell the car so this is the m156 power with clk it's a 63 not a 55 with a 113 that means this car produces more than the c63 amg a c63 makes around 330 odd kilowatt 
This one makes 348. Mercedes actually gave these a little bit more power to combat the weight that this thing needs to carry. This car weighs 1,755 kilograms. To put that into perspective, 200 kilograms more than my brother's Chevrolet Lumina. And I actually want to go against him to see how this car fares against that car. Um, here are a few things wrong with this car. You'll probably see B-roll now. So the rear window here won't go up if I click the button. Uh, the battery sounds like it's going. Uh, the aircon doesn't work. I'm taking the car away on Monday to have the aircon done by Dakir in Lansdowne. Uh, he also take it out. It was the condenser, so it cost me about managing 3,000 Rand. Um, gearbox service I wanted to do, that's about 4,000 Rand. Uh, tapper cover gasets are leaking, it's about 2,000 Rand. So there's not a lot wrong with the car. I just need to button things up over here. Let me show you the, the engine. Okay, so now I need to fetch you from here because the bonnet shocks don't work. So I have to sort the bonnet shocks out. But there's another reason why I bought the CLK. Look at the way this thing looks. I think this is one of the most beautiful designs um, to come out of Mercedes-Benz, in my humble opinion. I cannot stop looking at this car. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you the interior now. I want to show you the... Sorry, guys, I'm fasting, so... Try to take this a bit easier. So here you can probably see the tappet cover gasket leak, which is quite bad. So I need to get that sorted out. Um, and again, Mercedes M156. This one is built by a uh, Kurt Blas, quite a name. And yeah, you can probably see this car is still very, very neat. We put switch to wide angle here quickly. You probably see on top the mat on top is hanging. I'm gonna clean the bonnet and sort that out over there. But under here, I just need to do the tapper cover gaskets, and that's about it. I also need to check the oil level because the oil is running out quite, um, you can probably tell the oil is quite clean. So both sides have a cover gaskets is leaking. Let me close you up. The bonnet has a, straight, a slight stretch mark in it. I don't know if you can see it probably over there. The stretch mark is somewhere over there. Um, I'm gonna repaint the front bumper, redo all that in gloss black. Um, it's got the Zenon bulbs. This one has an optional uh, sunroof as well. And yeah, finally get to show you this interior. Look at this interior still. The interior is absolutely immaculate. This one also has the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system, not the Bose. I want to see if I can get the subwoofer that actually fits between the seats. It's a cool subwoofer. This one's fully adjustable seats as well. So lumbar, to the back, for here the seats are really comfortable. I really like the seats. And I love the steering wheel too. I love these PDA design steering wheels. This one also has keyless entry and push to start at the back. At the back on the gear lever. But I mean, it's so pretty. Let me just do a starter for you so you can hear the exhaust system quickly. Let me put the phone over here. Ah, it's not gonna stand up. Here we go. All right. Are you, are you ready? Because this thing sounds, it's got a stock exhaust by the way. So no cats, just, just decapped it basically. I had to drop it on the brakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 300 petrol I just revved out there. This thing is painfully heavy on fuel, but I'm prepared to live with it because I absolutely love this thing. Uh, I'm going to repair these doors also. So they try to push out dents here, which I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to repaint this door. And I'm going to repaint this door over here as well you can see here on the side so i'm gonna do that too but okay so now i need to get this car to i need a new battery this car you probably heard struggle the, the starter motor dragged there a little um i don't know if it's the battery or if it's just the way this thing starts 
So I'm going to try and carry a jump starter pack with me in case this thing doesn't want to start. So yeah, brakes also is hysterically expensive, but I'm going to kind of line myself up for all of this. In South Africa, we don't have a place like FCP Euro. So I can't get anything, any parts. I have to go to Mercedes or to Master Parts. And according to Zaki, the Tapper Cover Gaskets, the Pirate ones don't last. I must buy the Tapper Cover Gaskets by Mercedes. So when you have a lane by Merc, Tell me I can get the gas at 400 rand each. <laughs> Alright though, sport mode. I want to do a pool for you guys, so I'm going to try and find, I'm trying to go up this road and make a U-turn over there at the bottom. It's the best place to do that. Okay, there we go. I have to wait for the car to come onto temperature, so we're on temperature now. Okay, okay, guys, I'm not going to make this too long. I'll do a full review for you guys uh, coming up on everything and everything about how I feel about the car and stuff. So, yeah. We're just pulling over here and wait for a quiet moment. Nope, it isn't. So, touch control off. Right, and here we go. get some new tires for this uh, lovely car um, so yeah let's turn the got a little back on because I'm not used to it yet and uh, I don't want to crash <laughs> so you guys probably tell it is pretty bloody quick um, and very 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 little traction um, so yeah we're still in let's put into sport mode again the pedals aren't so liquid used because they are, it's an old car and the pedals are quite slow Yeah, so I am absolutely in love with this car and I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for watching my videos and for allowing me to accomplish my dreams. If not for all of you, this will not be possible. So thank you so much ladies and gentlemen for watching Liverable and making my dreams come true. And thank you to Gino for allowing me to come and work at LA Customs and help him grow that business as well. That's an absolute honor. Um, I was very emotional in the week, but I'm okay now. I'm not gonna tear up. It's also fast, and if I tear up, my head's gonna start to pain. So, <laughs> yeah. So I have to keep my emotions in check here. And of course, thank you to my parents. It's, it's an, I can't even believe I'm sitting in the seat. And I'm even able to afford this car in the first place. So, yeah, now I just need to look after it and hope the head bolts don't go and injectors and other stuff like that because these cars were affected with head bolt issues. So I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope the cams and head bolts are all okay. So yeah, let's get on to this video. Okay, so Brent is going to polish the BMW X5 today, but I have an announcement to make. So LA Customs is gonna do our first, what is again there? Ceramic coating. Ceramic coating. And just a by the way, it's our own product. Um, it's not a product anyone else is using. We developed the product. And we also polishing the car with Menzerna, which you saw in the previous video. This will be our first full ceramic coating and Menzerna polish. Um, if you guys are happy with the end result of this particular car, it's hard because it's so dark, I can't really see all the scratches. But we'll be able to see after this what. Let me just see with the phone if I can see any of the scratches. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, like there's a hell of a lot of scratches here. Halos and... Swirl marks and all sorts of stuff. So okay, let's film the process of rim polishing the scar and also the ceramic coating being applied and see how it gets and if you guys want the same done in your car, um, I'll get pricing and things like that for you guys later when Gino does the mid part of the video to give you guys pricing. So yeah, let's see how the scar comes out.
So this car's got a three-stage polish done to it. Um, then it was hand waxed, then washed. It's gonna get another hand wax, and then we're gonna apply the ceramic coating. And this is how we do it. We start with a nice solid block to which we apply a nice soft cloth. To the soft cloth, a few drops of our specific ceramic coating. This thing gets applied to the body of the car, wiped down, and all what's left is a glass-like finish. So this ceramic coating, this 9 inch coating applied to a vehicle on this size. We're doing it other customers for 6,000 then. Uh, slightly smaller car, we slightly less. Remember, this is a 9 inch coating. It's a permanent coating. Um, it can get puffed up every year or two, depending on how many layers you want us to do on it as well. So there are various packages we can do. Basically, this is like a thin layer of glass right over your car. Um, keeps your paint protected, stops it from scratching, all of those things. Um, so it does have info at other customs that see it in it to get your car dynamic coating. So if you're sitting or watching this video till this part, I just want to say thank you for watching the video finished. It's much appreciated. Um, I'm actually sitting finishing the, just had some puka and stuff and I'm finishing the video for you guys. For your enjoyment um i'm enjoying this long format videos i'm really loving editing it and i dropped the clk by my dad he's gonna take it to me to like here tomorrow to have the aircon looked at um and then i might do tapper cover gaskets myself so let's see uh, once i'm under the tapper cover gaskets i can also check if the head bolts were done and what the condition of the cams and buckets are like um i there shouldn't be anything wrong there. If there is, it's a balls up, but there shouldn't be. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. Be free for you. Love Rebel, out.